artists and producers, if you're not doing these five steps, you're losing out on a lot of money. Let's talk about it. What's good world, it's your boy Twiz and welcome to 5 Minutes of Twisdom. 5 Minutes of Tips and Tricks to help grow your music brand. How are you not getting paid? You're doing all this music, you're putting it out, you got people checking out your mixtapes and stuff, but, you, but you're not getting the most of your money. I mean, that's, I know if I do stuff, I want to get more bang for my buck. I want everything to be a great investment that I get full bang for my investment of making my music. So these five steps will help you understand royalties and how do you get paid from everything that you do regarding the music. Step number one, please get your music protected, copyright your music, all right? You can do it now digitally at copyright.gov. It's real simple, log on there, I think it's $35 for you to get uh, one recording in, but if you wanna get multiple recordings like an album, the, t the total price is $55. It would be smarter just to get all your tracks together and uh, just release it as an album and then go ahead and get that one time fee and get all your stuff copyrighted, okay? Get protected. You don't want nobody out there stealing your stuff. Make sure you establish that first. Number two, it's time to get your music out there. Distribution, distribution, distribution. I can't say it enough, man. You want to get your music on all the major platforms and you can do that through DistroKid. DistroKid not only helps you collect your royalties, but it gets your music on all the major streaming sites out there. Tidal, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, all of that. You want to utilize all those different websites to make sure that revenue is coming in. DistroKid helps you collect them, but they don't help you collect all of them. You got to make sure you do this next step. Step three, make sure you register your music on one of the pro organizations such as ASCAP, BMI, CSAC. They'll help you get those performance royalties at licensed venues. So if they don't have a license, they technically don't have to report the streams that plays at their venues. While open mic nights is a great way to get yourself out there, it doesn't really do well in your pockets. Step number four. Man, you trying to go international with it? Make sure you register your music on Song Trust. What they do is get the royalty from the PROs that are overseas. Cause see, ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, they are only here in the United States. So you can't receive all the royalties that you would you would get worldwide because they're different. They have a different way of running business, they have a different way of, of rating music, and they have a different way of charting music. So what Song Trust does is it knocks on their door, hey. Hey guys, you know, we got this thing over in the U.S. We know you like it over here. Um, they, they need this money right here, you know, because uh, we need to make some more things happen back home, okay? So that's what Song Trust does. Number five, make sure your music gets on Sound Exchange. I can't stress that enough, Sound Exchange. What they do is they help you get them streams online from non-interactive websites such as Pandora and those radio stations that jamming your music on the internet, but they're not really reporting those streams. Yeah, those people, yeah, that's what Sound Exchange does. They go to those places and say, hey, we need to keep track of this song. We need you to keep it out for the song. Please report to us about this song that's out here so my people can get paid. Just to recap, you wanna number one, protect yourself. Yes, get your music copywritten. You don't want nobody stealing your stuff. All right, forget what the myth says. Copyright.gov, do it. Number two, distribute, 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 distribute. I can make a remix on that. Distribute, like, get your music out there, distro kid. Make sure you click the link down below, down there, right there. Click it, yeah, you, click it. All right, just so you don't forget, subscribe. Just, just, just do it, okay? All right, all right. Distro Kid, enough said. Number three, make sure you register your music on any one of the pro organizations. You could do some con charity concerts, and you know, that's what I'm gonna call open mics, but uh, trying to get that bread, trying to get that money right, hey, get paid for your shows, check them licenses. Number four, make sure you register with Song Trust. I don't know about you, but I'm trying to be internationally known. I need that money from over there streaming, it's going ham, you know, it's going ham in Paris, it's going down, we need to go there, okay? All right, they're requesting us. We need to go to us. Get the tour bus. Sound trust. Step five, sound exchange, baby. Get your music on there, upload it. Get those internet streams, man. I know a lot of love is shown in internet radio, but I need some streams, bro. You gonna be like, 
I need them strings, bro, <laughs> for real. Get your money up, for real. Thank you for checking in with me. If you've been back here for a second time to get a refill, I appreciate you. Share a friend, like, share, comment down in the comment section below. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you want me to talk about. Uh, if you got more questions on getting your money from royalties, I'm here to help. Contacts down below, man. This has been another episode of Five Minutes of Twisdom. It's your boy Twiz, and I'm out, certified.